Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about memory abstraction. Means, what is memory abstraction and why it is required in our system. So, let us start with memory abstraction. Now, we are using different types of memory in our system such as RAM as well as ROM. But, we can access the memory as a single continuous entity. That is just because of the hardware as well as the OS memory manager means hardware as well as the OS memory manager makes it possible that we can see the memory as a single continuous entity how do they do that that is just by using abstraction that is just because of abstraction so is abstraction is necessary in our system let us see without abstraction what's happen in our system means no memory abstraction suppose in our system there is no memory abstraction in this model the memory that is presented to the programmer was simply a single block of physical memory having a set of address from zero to some maximum with each address corresponding to a cell containing some number of bits commonly that is eight structure is like that here this one is nothing but a memory operating system lies at the bottom in this portion and rest of the portion is available to user for the user program that is the first possibility second one same way but here the operating system is in rom that is at the top portion and rest of the portion is available to user for the user program third one is operating system at bottom in the RAM and the driver are at the top portion that is in RAM and this is the remaining portion that is for user program that is for user. So even with no abstraction we are having several setups. These are the different setups that is just without abstraction. Now suppose when a program instruction like move register 1 to 1000. So what this instruction will do, this instruction will simply move the content of register to 1000 address. So suppose somewhere here is 1000 address, so this program will move your content of register to here at here 1000. Now if at the same time, suppose another program execute the same instruction, then what happened? The value of first program will be overwrite because here in this case we are having a single piece of memory here user is having the single piece of ad memory from zero to some address so this memory is used by more than one program then the content of first program is overwritten by the second program means we cannot execute more than one program at the same time if we execute more than one program then in this case the value of first program that is used in our memory is overwritten by the second program so only one process at a time can be running means we cannot execute more than one program with this means without abstraction without memory abstraction now what if we wants to run multiple program in no memory abstraction then OS must have to save the entire memory onto the disk OS brings the next program to execute and OS run that next program means here swapping comes in picture this is nothing but a swapping so we can use swapping to run multiple program concurrently in no memory abstraction so what is swapping suppose here this one is memory and this one is hard disk our program is there in hard disk and if we wants to execute that program then that program must be loaded into this memory so before executing any program that program is loaded from hard disk to memory once this program is completed this program is sent back to this hard disk so this is nothing but a swapping here 
This program is moved from hard disk to the disk ROM, the disk known as swept in. Uh, whenever the program is back from RAM to this hard disk, the disk known as swept out. The process of this moving a process from hard disk to RAM as well as RAM to hard disk is known as swapping. So if he wants to define swapping, then a process of bringing in each process in its entire length means the entire process into the memory running it for a while then putting it back on the disk is known as swapping so here we have to use swapping to execute more than one program in case of no memory abstraction now these are the different ways to implement swapping system first one is multi programming with fixed partition and second one is multi-programming with dynamic partition these are the two different ways to implement swapping system in our computer thank you very much